Um, this, this quick video shows you a kind of comparison, how things look when you use automated process versus classic manual way of modeling things in Revit. Um, so in the, in the first video, automated video, I'm, I'm able to define reinforcements for my, for, for my you know, four openings in about 10 seconds. In um, a standard user in Revit would spend around 10 minutes to do this. So 60, yeah, 60 times. <laughs> Dynamo is a huge time sa saver, and it's not only for rebounds, it's for anything. Because any kind of workflow you use uh, for structure can be basically automated. Um, this, the package supports uh, not only um, cast in place wor workflows, but also uh, precast workflows. Uh, some of you may be uh, uh, familiar with the structural precast for Revit extensions. Um, this is an extension that was, I believe, um, announced two years ago by Autodesk. Um, this extension automates uh, the, the, the process of segmentation and detailing um, planner precast uh, elements for, for, for fabrication. Uh, the extension is really fantastic. It does a really great job, automates so many things, but it doesn't cover every single uh, aspect of precast workflow. One of the gaps we have in the workflow is automation of uh, adding grout tubes to, to precast walls. With, together with, um, with the installation of the package, you can find some, some dedicated uh, Revit families for grout tubes and tubes on top. And of course, you can add them right in Revit manually. But who would do this you know, for every single instance? So it's super time consuming. And, um, and this is a situation where structural design package comes in handy. Thanks to a few dedicated nodes you can find, that you can find in the package, the, the whole process can be, can be easily automated. Um, I have a video on this, but uh, maybe instead of playing a video, I can show you how it's called, uh, showing this in action. Okay, so Dynamo Player. Scripts. Yeah, for my grout tubes, I have the following inputs here, right? Um, some, fam some families for, for both grout tubes and tubes on top. Some ge geometrical, you know, conditions, you know, where they should be placed, you know, what's the distance from the edge, uh, spacing between them. I can also ignore spacing and, and I can say, you know, just add, you know, four grout tubes to every single precast, precast wall. So it's really up to you how you define this uh, kinds of you know input parameters. You may add even more design conditions if there are if there are ne needed. Um, so before I run this script, I'm going to uh, make a selection. In this case, I'm using a default selection node that was available out of the box in Dynamo, uh, and uh, instead of selecting my precast walls, I will be selecting their, um, their faces. So I'm going to select you know, these three faces, click finish, execute script, and there we go. Grout tubes and tubes at top were added automatically. You may ask, why did you select faces instead of um, Instead of uh, instead of walls, because I, thanks to selection, I was able to specify orientation of my grab tubes. 